Hey guys, it's your boy, Sonic Freaking Goku Gamer. Freaking Goku oh, Gamer, I'm so excited to meet video. I was afraid of making it yesterday, but you know, some stuff happened and then I had an error. This time I'm making it with like no, no video, video for the nail me, because I'm gonna on my face, so I feel like I'm more either natural my face and more excited because I just got conscious about that. And now let's get to it. Now, you wanna, this video is about basically talking about how to like get like X new, the, the OG Xbox. Original Xbox, it would say, emulator working on PC, Windows, not Mac. Sorry, for me. it's Windows, Windows, guys, Windows. So, so what we're going to, to do is like those words right here. I'm gonna say, oh, I'm sorry, I was on John Cena, you know, I was on GTA mod. So, we're gonna to have to go do xmove.app. See right there? There we go. I'm, all the links are going, are going to be in the in the like in the like description too. Description too. Right there, set xmove.app. So, as we see, we can basically see this. I mean, it, but first, you have to see which things work right up. Come on, I'm not putting any rounds with a damn with a found rounds because I feel like that's a that's I don't, I'm not supposed to do that. But you can you can find any rounds online, or some people just like dump them for them like original discs. But I wouldn't do that because I because I never even had an Xbox, and I'm not trying to buy no Xbox, Xbox games. <laughs> I ain't trying to get because I own a PS2. So most of these games are playable, but like. They still got something that don't work. Keep in mind, original Xbox requires like a lot of power for the PC. So, but first, you're gonna have to like download this. I mean, you can do Mac OS, but we're not doing that. We're doing Windows, Windows, because because I'm not a Windows guy. You know what I mean? So I already downloaded this. So when you download this, it should be a folder going right here. I already have it right there. I already have it. But first, you're gonna have to like go right here. It should be X move right about here. See my idea. But you got to that to your folder, which I do. Uh, I basically do this because I got that. So it should be all the way right here. I changed it. So what you're gonna do is do is go right here, and then, and then you open it for the first time. Basically, no. Nah, let me check this a minute. It should boot. It should ask you for like a BIOS or BIOS, which which you'll go right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna balance right here. So what you're gonna do is let me let me show you first. What let me show you like where to like find all the files to, to put in all the files to put inside so so that like, you can like play X Xbox games. So first of all, you're gonna have to go to this site right here. This will de this will definitely be in the like in the like description too. And then you're gonna have to like go all the way down. You got all these consoles. Look at this. Then you go to Xbox. Microsoft like that. See that? And it should be out of file right here. First off, the BIOS file, which is going to be used to put like, to put like, that right there. That's where the like BIOS goes. That's the BIOS. Then the flash mom should be, no, I think the BIOS, the flash mom should be, I, I take that, but basically you're going to have to put it right there. And then watch this. You're going to have to like, once you finish downloading these, because I already downloaded, I'm not going to download that again. You're going to have to go right here. Let's see what Go right here first. It's already tracked I can't talk. I'm so excited. Wait a minute. I'm going to find it in a minute. Alright, this is where the Xbox BIOS is already extracted. It. It's going to be a folder which you have to extract, which is called Xbox BIOS. This is basically a boot file. Right here is basically where you like get the boot file right here. This is the boot file which you need right here. This file right here. MCPX, whatever it's called, see one one five zero. And and then you put that for the boot file. And for flat and for flash, you can like put either of these, but you know, I downloaded like a whole different file to put in because I was just being different. I wasn't different. different. And for hard disk you're gonna have to do and I put everything for that. I seen everything. And for hard disk you're gonna have to do like I know that's like other file, but you're gonna have to pick one of these. That's that's FBI I mean. So you're gonna pick put one of these for a hard disk. That. But oh yeah. But for me, I did like something different. I did like another thing. So you should have all your files in there. See right there. Remember, this is a hard disk file. Hard disk. So after you do that, you should like reset. Like this here. This is how you reset, and then you open it again. I'm all. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm like all over the place. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm just like when you really get into it, it's kind of like you just so busy. <laughs> Open it again. 
and dead to die, and it should be ready. Anor, all oh, this right here, this, this is basically my thing for like. And there we go. And oh yeah, if you want to like run a game, you're gonna have to like different ways. It should be an ISO photo. I'm not gonna show you how to like exchange it because I feel like this is going on too long already. So what you want to do? You go hey, because it really SO games are really XBE files, but you gotta like change with the ISO, which is like a disk based file. Alright, so so I'm not gonna show you how to do it, but I can give you advice, like a small device. You can use, you could use, I mean the, I, I'm the program I use is C minus Xbox tool, which is a very good, good program to use. You could use like this, like I, I can show you an example. It's a really good program. What you basically do is like, I know I said I wasn't sorry, but I might as well now. See, what you basically do is like pick the XDE folder. For example, I pick like dead or alive three. It says that and it changes to ISO. And, and the target and the target who's me? And the target folder is basically where you like put the ISO in. I, I would recommend like a big hard disk hard drive because, because ISOs are bit way big. They are super big. And what I'm further to do, I bet you the one in. Run the game. So okay, so how to run the game is basically you gotta like load the disk and pick the ISO which is like for example, I'm gonna just pick Let's see a random game like I'm gonna pick a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2x. Oh, but not running. So we gotta pick in. So we gotta put reset, reset, reset. There you go. And it should boot up. There we go. And you wanna put a full screen? You can right here, but I'm gonna 2x. Full screen. There we go. And then it's booting the game. Look, booting. Look at it, and now we're, now we're playing the game now, right there. Yep. Here we go. Yep. Ooh, ooh, okay. And now some games might run slow on this one, on this emulator here, but don't worry. But there's, there's another emulator too, but I'm not gonna show it right now. It's called CXBX, which you already, which you might know. So, and that's basically it, guys. Let me play the game, and there we go. If this game works so far, I mean, it does, I mean, does have some like witches though, but you know, at least it's running. I mean, to me, basically, six bits is way optimized, but it's not like X move, which is a way better user interface emulator. Because the, the good thing about Emu is like basically, it like basically doesn't like crash. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I crashed that. <laughs> so that's basically it, guys. So. Like and subscribe, hit that subscribe button if you want, and then peace out, and love you guys, like this guy, and bye. Bye! Like this guy, I can't wait to do more emulator testing, guys. Can't wait to do freaking more. Peace out. <laughs>